Uh, you talk about the customers, and you said, you know, your employees are customers, too, and you're, and you're feeling the pain, and you have been traveling across the country listening to people. Uh, we want to ask, we ask them to ask you some pointed questions and get your reaction, and this is something from a, a grandmother that a lot of people are feeling. Why am I spending my grandchildren's college money so I can drive this car? Why? What is, what is the reason for this? Mr. Hoffmeister, what do you tell your consumers who are, are struggling and are, are really hurting? You know, I've, I've had that question in, in 49 different cities across the country today. I may get it again in Atlanta, Georgia. It's a very hard question. A part of it is driven by global demand where people all over the world like to drive just like Americans do. More and more Chinese, more and more Indians now have access to, to automobiles. Uh, there are only limited sources of the supply of oil and as a result we end up with uh, demand all over. I had a grandmother in Portland, Oregon who said to me a little different variation on the question. She said, will there be gas for my grandchildren? I know I'll have gas, but will they have gas? Our job as a supplier is to make sure that everybody who needs gas will get gas. You are in the business to make money. No one is disputing that. But your profits, Shell's profits, are up 11%. And some people are saying, you know, in a time like this, in, in the economy when people are truly struggling to try and make ends meet, could you cut back a bit on your profit? You're still going to make billions of dollars, but you could really help out a lot of people here by doing that. 